Hi guys! So I decided to start reducing sugar into my daily diet because I've read that it can also cause infertility or problems with fertility. Meaning staying pregnant, getting pregnant, all that. And, and as you know, I've lost my two last pregnancies, my first and second pregnancy. And um, we are going to the doctors and getting checked out right now. But I also wanted to try the sugar-free diet. And since I can't go sugar-free from like, like that, um, for this week, I'm trying to go low on sugar, write everything down that I do eat with sugar and reduce it by a lot. And then hopefully, maybe next week, I can start going all free and see how that goes. So here's what I ate for this whole week. Day one of the sugar-free challenge and I made myself a smoothie with berries, banana, and coconut milk. All sugar-free, of course. And my best friend, water in a glass bottle. Yay! I am also taking 10 of, uh, no, 20 of those and 20 of those to detox and get some minerals in. It is only almost 11 a.m. and I'm already feeling sick to my stomach. I don't crave anything yet, but I have like a light headache and I'm really feeling stomach sick. Just like every time I keep drinking water it gets worse and worse and worse, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> Just finished my kukuma cinnamon uh, lemon water for detoxing. After I had my detox drink, like two mugs, I'm kind of not hungry anymore. My headache is gone and I don't feel sick to my stomach anymore, so that's good. For lunch, I made us some potatoes and some chicken in some kind of like a ramen sauce. And this one is like mixed, has sugar, and I wrote it down, so my first sin for today. Snacking on some grapes. Next in 10 grams sugar. Ooh. Starting off the morning with my last zip of uh, my detox drink. Good morning, guys. I just took a shower and I had my first drink for today and I checked my juice because supposedly juice always has sugar in it but we actually have one that doesn't have any sugar, yay! My mango orange juice, sugar free! Today I put a list up into my kitchen cupboard to see all the different German words for sugar. It's like 40 different words so I can check easily all my ingredients at home. Hard finding sugar-free breakfast for me, but I got myself some gluten-free oatmeal with coconut milk, raw honey, and a banana. Completely sugar-free. Lunchtime, I'm making myself a smoothie with rice, milk, blueberries, raspberries, and a banana. All sugar free, of course. I have had no sugar today, and it is in the afternoon around four ish now, and I already have a headache. Not as like not as early as yesterday, but now that I left sugar out completely, I have really a bad, bad, bad headache. Almost dinner time. Making dinner. All done. Starting off the day with a cup of tea. Good morning, wonderful people of the internet. It is day three of my reduced sugar diet. And yesterday my headache got worse and worse and I really felt like I had a hangover. Even though I had like I ate some sugar during dinner time, even though it was it was like 15 grams, 
I felt so bad. My head was exploding. It was awful. But after I slept a good night's sleep and I finally woke up, it is better, but I something is starting to build up again. So I hope it's better today. So I recommend to never just quit sugar like that. Do it slowly because you're going to feel really bad. So let's do it today. For breakfast, I'm just having the same as yesterday. Oatmeal with rice milk, banana and honey because it filled me up really well. So I'm going for that today. For lunch, I'm making myself some chicken with gluten free flour and egg and another kind of flour. Really yummy. Can't resist my curry ketchup. Measured it so I know how much sugar it is. Chicken with ketchup for lunch. For dinner, I'm not really hungry, so I'm drinking my sugar free juice and getting myself apple mango um, sauce that is also sugar free. Good morning, day four. Sugar free breakfast, like all the other days. This time again with coconut milk. Lunch time, since I have to leave and go to the doctors, I need to eat something big. So, to lazy tea cook, pizza with some sugar, but only seven grams. Didn't finish it, way too stuffed, we'll eat it later. On the way downtown, I will be snacking on an apple. Day five, and I'm taking two of those glucose thingies that is of course sugar, but since they draw lots of blood yesterday, I need it because I'm feeling so dizzy. Starting the morning off with a good cup of tea. And yes, you named it, my gluten-free oatmeal with honey, coconut milk and banana. Leftovers for lunch. And again, a little bit more sugar, some crunchies, um, crunchy cereal, gluten-free for dinner time. Breakfast, I'm getting two slices of gluten-free bread that contain a little bit of sugar and put some chicken on it. And that's about two grams of sugar right there. Having sugar-free juice. For dinner, I'm having a durum duna with salad and meat, and that probably has some sugar in it. Oops! And last day, starting breakfast with a passion fruit and two slices of gluten free bread with some chicken and some sugar free juice in the morning. Oh. Smoothie with banana. Frozen berries. Sugar free cocoa powder. Rice milk. Yummy. For lunch slash early dinner, I made myself rice with homemade chicken curry, all sugar free. I did it a whole week with sugar, not completely free, but less sugar. And uh, since we will be on my grandma-in-law's 85th birthday next week, I will probably not be able to go sugar free and we also have, still have stuff that needs to be eaten before it gets bad because we don't have the money to just toss away food. So until then I will just try to eat low on sugar and then go with sugar free and then I will of course document my first week and see how that goes because I want to continue trying that for the fertility. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.